Hello, this is John, CEO of Seaflow Marine and RV North America, and I would like to show you my very favorite Seaflow bilge pump, the 14B Automatic. This bilge pump is a low profile bilge pump. This head gets down lower than a conventional bilge pump. It can be mounted in any direction. The discharge will also turn any direction. And the motor will turn any direction. So you could side mount this and you could discharge sideways or you could discharge up. The way this pump works is it cycles on every two and a half minutes checks for water. If there is water, it will continue pumping until the water is gone. The reason I like this more than the other bilge pumps is because it doesn't wait for a float switch to get to the high level mark before it activates. It, as soon as it can possibly vacuum up any water, it will. It comes with a choice of inlets, different size discharge lines, <clears throat> with a check valve to keep the water from rolling back into the bilge. And the nice thing is that when you clamp your hose to the, to the outlet, you can turn this freely. That means that to, to remove the hose, you can just turn this dial here and take off the hose and then lift the pump up to clean the strainer or whatever you have to do and then put it right back on without having to undo the hose clamp. These are the different sizes that it comes with for outlets and even an elbow. Another interesting feature is that the when you have it hooked up for automatic operation, when the bilge pump does come on, the manual wire will send a 12 volt signal so that you can power a light that will come on your dashboard showing you that the pump is on or even that it, it comes on for that two seconds when it tries to look for water. That way you can verify that the pump is working just by seeing the light flash on every two and a half minutes on your dashboard. Another feature of this pump are these little holes right here. These little holes will prevent an airlock. When the pump runs, a very small amount of air or water will discharge out of these little holes, but not enough to affect the flow, which is 1,100 gallons per hour. But it will, well, what it will do is let the, the air disperse out of there and keep from air locking the pump. So you can always be sure that it will operate properly. The strainer comes off easily for cleaning. And we have three wires. One is uh, ground, one is the automatic wire, and one is the manual wire. As I said before, the manual wire will power an uh, uh, indicator light on your dashboard, or you could hook up the manual wire to a float switch or an automatic switch just to see if you wanted to have an extra safe backup. The other models of this pump that this comes in is a completely manual low-profile bilge pump, or there's one with a water sensor. And the water sensor works great, it's just that it waits until the water reaches the high level of the water sensor before it activates. Whereas this one, like I said, will always be keeping the water to the minimum that it can be in your bilge. Finally, if you ever did have to replace the motor, it just removes easily and goes back in. Here is the 14B wired to a boat fuse panel, turning on the bilge pump indicator light when it checks for water. Here is a demonstration of the pump cycling on but not pumping any water. This is what it does when it, there's no water for it to pump. Now here's the pump in water.
how the pup will keep running as long as there's water there. So I'll simulate what happens when the water level goes down. And now it turns off.